Hi, I'm Jeremy Scholz with Pioneer Electronics. Today we're going to give you an inside look of Pioneer's AVIC F-Series products. We're going to cover the latest firmware update 2.0, along with some tips and tricks for those of you who may already have one of these inside your car. This summer, Pioneer began shipping the next generation of in-car navigation, entertainment, and communication, the AVIC F-Series. With its built-in maps and navigation, hands-free Bluetooth technology, and a wide variety of entertainment options, the AVIC F-Series has raised the bar of in-car electronics. Now, it's never been easier to navigate through your world at the touch of a finger or with the sound of your voice. Play the artist Lost Coyote. Playing the artist Lost Coyote. To improve upon the F-Series already stellar lineup of features, Pioneer has released its 2.0 firmware update. Now our existing customers will find that this update includes uh, significantly faster boot up time, improved Bluetooth compatibility, snappier touchscreen response, improved compatibility with Apple's iPod Touch, increased display brightness, more reliable playback from USB and SD card sources, as well as smoother map zoom functionality and just better overall system performance and stability. Now, rather than tell you about all of these improvements, I'd actually like to show you a couple. First, let's examine the significantly improved boot up time. Here we have two AVIC F900 BTs. The one on the left contains the previous firmware that was released in July, and the AVIC F900 BT on the right contains the new firmware 2.0. Let's simultaneously power up these receivers and use the clock to see the difference. As these units begin booting up, let's benchmark a few milestones along the way, including iPod audio playback, access to the map screen, and connecting with a Bluetooth-enabled cell phone. The times for version 1.0017 will appear on the left column, and the times for version 2.0 will appear on the right column. To make this comparison fair, both receivers are powering up into the same conditions. Each one is paired with an 8GB iPhone, and each one is connected to an iPod Nano with identical content. With the 2.0 firmware, iPod music began playing in just over 37 seconds. That's 35% faster, and we are able to access the map screen in just about the same time, showing a 39% speed increase. Because iPod playback demands much more processing power, playback from traditional sources like FM and CD will begin usually within 9 to 15 seconds. Now let's fast forward the clock a bit more to compare the two times for connecting with a Bluetooth-enabled cell phone. Compared to the previous version, we see that firmware 2.0 performed 35% faster. Now let's take a look how the firmware update has improved Bluetooth compatibility with the AVIC F series. Now here I have my BlackBerry phone. I'm going to pair it with the receiver, transfer its contacts, and then make a call using voice recognition. First, let's use the receiver's interface to begin the pairing process. From the main menu, tap phone. Then, Phone Settings. Next, tap Connection. Then add Device. And here we see three different options to pair with a mobile phone. We can search an area for discoverable Bluetooth devices, select from preset profiles of devices, or simply pair from the mobile device itself. Let's select this one. Using your phone's interface, you can now discover the Pioneer receiver. Here you see it comes up as Pioneer Navi. Now, select it and enter the passcode of 1111. Now the Bluetooth connection has been properly established. The phone will also automatically reconnect with the receiver when your vehicle is started. Next, let's transfer the contacts from this phone to the F-Series receiver. From the phone menu, tap Phone Book Transfer. Follow the on-screen instructions and wait a few minutes until the transfer process is fully complete. Now you will notice the contacts from your phone will show up on the contacts menu. Let's make a phone call using voice recognition. 
Call Lauren Bailey Mobile. Calling Lauren Bailey Mobile. Press hang up to cancel. Now most F-Series products will already ship with the 2.0 firmware update installed. But what if you already have this product installed in your vehicle? Well there are three ways you can update it. One would be to contact your local authorized Pioneer dealer who performed the installation. A second way would be to contact Pioneer customer service at 1-800-PIONEER. And the third option would be to go to www.pioneerelectronics.com, download the update and install it yourself. So now let's go over how to install firmware 2.0. Before you begin, be sure to save any custom AV settings by writing them down on a piece of paper. This includes settings like station presets, audio adjustments, or input designations. Next, remove the SD slot protector and with the receiver powered off, insert the SD card containing the 2.0 update. Now turn your vehicle on and let the receiver boot up. After a few short moments, the firmware will begin updating itself automatically. Do not power off the receiver at this time. After the initial installation is complete, the F-Series receiver will reboot itself into the main menu. From here, a hard reset is required to continue the installation. To do this, take a pointed object such as the stylus that came with your receiver and hold down the reset button for 5 seconds. Again, the receiver will reboot into the main menu. The final phase of the installation will be to update the receiver's Bluetooth software. To do this, access the phone menu, tap phone settings, then scroll down to Bluetooth software update. Now simply tap software update. The update will take approximately 3 to 4 minutes. Once the receiver finishes the installation, you can remove the SD card. This will complete the firmware 2.0 installation. Be sure to restore any customized settings you may have created on the receiver, and remember this includes restoring your AV1 input to iPod. Customers and dealers alike have praised the F-Series for its superior iPod interface. But note that a proper iPod connection to all in-dash receivers requires the CD-IU230V cable. The F-Series voice recognition also provides a safe and fast way to access the content on your iPod or contacts on your Bluetooth-enabled cell phone. To get the most out of your voice recognition, be sure to follow these tips. When transferring your phone book to the receiver, be sure the contacts listed on your phone are free of any special symbols, such as periods, slashes, or ampersands. Also note that the order in which your contacts are sorted on your phone can directly affect how they are transferred to the F-Series receiver. This, in turn, can affect voice control performance. To prevent any issues, it may be necessary to sort your contacts on your phone by first name. Be sure to do this before transferring your phone book to the receiver. Once transferring has been completed, you can easily resort the contacts on your phone according to your preference. Also note that by default, voice recognition cataloging is on and is required when connecting your iPod for the very first time. Once cataloging is complete, you can simply disable this process in the AV settings menu. In the future, you will only need to enable VR cataloging when you modify the content on your iPod. I hope these tips have been helpful, and you can see how the 2.0 firmware has made a great product even better. Now, for more information, head to pioneerelectronics.com.